welcome to February's Tiger Broadcast. Um, we wanted to share with you some of the events coming up in February. I'm Amanda Ferreira, I'm the Social Studies Department Chair, and I'm here with Judy Orr and Shanda Rickman, other uh, teachers in the Social Studies Department. We have a lot going on in February, so um, we were gonna share some of that with you today. We have My Access Parent webinars, which are a great resource for you to take advantage of. And those are start on Tuesday, February 6th, and will run on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 to 9.45. We hope to see you there. Okay, next on February 7th, we have our senior graduation announcement order due to academic affairs. Also on February 7th, there is an LCAP advisory on February 14th, that is the deadline for consumable orders such as school or office, art projects, technology, ink supplies, so please get those orders to your ES. And on February 15th is the deadline to join CJSF, CSF, or NHS. And if you have any questions about that, reach out to the guidance department. Uh, on February 15th through the 19th, this is our President's Day holiday. On February 21st, we have the first high school orientation meeting for 7th and 8th grade, and that's online. February 23rd is the last day to sign up for the Oral Language Fair. Please check with your ES on how to do that. February 26th through March the 1st is My Access Writing Prompt. This is submitted on My Access. This is for 4th through 12th grade. And February 27th is the deadline for the Yearbook uh, Tiger Challenge project to design the, uh, the cover for the uh, yearbook. So those are the main announcements for February. What we also wanted to share with you as history teachers, we love teaching history. And we have some great opportunities in your local communities to learn about the history of, of your community or your town. We all live in Escalon and we wanted to share with you some really great spots, um, uh, historic spots in Escalon as our theme this year is the world is our classroom. Right where we're standing now is the caboose in Escalon, a really famous spot that lots of people gather at. Um, and it was the first, one of the spots of the first buildings in Escalon. And it just kind of shows the tradition of railroads that went through Escalon. We're gonna show you a couple other local spots also in our video um, where you can learn about local history. Hi, I'm Judy Orr with the Social Studies Department. I wanted to introduce to you a little bit of local history in Escalon with the Jones Mansion. Uh, James Jones owned this mansion. Uh, he uh, was a really big part in putting together the uh, city of Escalon. Uh, he, when he heard a rail line was going to be placed on his land, he decided to hire a surveyor and outline Escalon. He chose the word Escalon because he liked it. And it also means stepping stone to Central California. Um, he was, uh, this building behind me was given to uh, uh, jo uh, Jones's daughter and she donated it as a hospital. I actually have an aunt and an uncle who were born in this building. Uh, after that uh, it was restored in 1980 as a private residence uh, and that is what is used today. So I present to you a little bit of local history, the Jones Mansion. I'm Shanda Rickman and I teach U.S. History and I'm so excited to share with you our other location in Escalon, the Escalon Historical Museum, which was established in 1989. It has a lot of cool displays and artifacts from Escalon's history. And then if you follow me over here, we have Escalon's first fire bell from their fire station. And we just discovered this. Look how cool this is. Right above the bell is a mural. And that is to depict Escalon's rich heritage that includes a railroad, dairy, and agriculture. Hi, 
Hey, this is Amanda again, and this is our last spot to show you um, on our tour of historic sites in Escalon. This is where the first uh, fire station was built in Escalon, and this has been um, put up in honor of all the volunteer firefighters. Um, we wanted to challenge you in this month of February to look around your area to see what kind of local history you might be able to find and learn about in your hometowns. Um, I think you'll be surprised at what you might find it's, and you can have a lot of fun with it. Um, just keeping in mind the world is our classroom. Um, if you have any questions or need anything history related, the history department would love to help you. So feel free to reach out. Have a wonderful February everyone and we will